hi, come on in, Scott. Hi. Oh, sorry, it's been a little reading. Oh, that, that's good. Hold your mind. Uh, call me Scotty, will you? Oh, uh, thanks. You know, most of my customers at the massage parlor don't even know my last name. Uh, I never tell them where I live. Oh, well, I understand that. Boy, this is a... Uh, it's a nice place you got here. Oh, thank you. Uh, I've lived here longer than any other place so far. I guess that's due to my kind of stable relationship with Woody. Woody? Yeah. Stable relationship, that's what he likes to call it. Uh, he likes to use words like that. He, uh, he uh, finished high school, you know. Did he? Yeah. He was, uh, really a bright person. Um, I'm sorry. I, I, I don't want to get sappy on you. Oh, that's okay. That's okay, Cindy. You know, you're really a funny man. Yeah, I don't mean, like, you know, a lot of laughs. What, what do you mean funny? How, how, does, how does that... Well, because, you know, here I am giving you a sexy massage with my heart breaking. I mean, other guys would have come on to me even if I was crying. You didn't. That, uh, really threw me. I've done a lot of thinking about you since I met you at the Golden Goddess. A lot of thinking. You know something? I, I, I've done a lot of thinking about you, too. I, I really think that you're really a nice girl. I don't think very many people would call me nice. I've been around you. Who hasn't? You know, see, everybody has got, uh, you know, a lot of good. You know, sometimes you have to really look for it in somebody, you know, and yeah. find it and it's right there. Well, yeah, maybe. No, uh, trust me, man. Hey, you know what? Woody used to say the same thing about me. He said that I had a real nice side to me. You know, you two are a lot alike in many ways. You mind talking about Woody? No, not to you. What did, um, what did he do for a living? Well, I really don't know. I, I think he worked for the government. Uh, I know he didn't make a lot of money because he was always saying to me, you know, someday I'm going to come into a bundle. Of course, I, I, I thought maybe he was just, you know, talking. Uh, but what did I care? I was happy with the way things were. And about, uh, Three or four weeks ago, he was start getting real excited. He starts saying that he was going to be rich someday. I mean, he got so excited about it that I started to believe him. Then he changed. Changed? How, yeah. how do you mean changed? Well, he, he was still great with me and everything, but uh, I tell him. I don't know how to put my finger on it. What's wrong? Well, it's like... I never realized before how cold his eyes could be. And, and even when he was saying to me, hey, babe, we're going to be rich and everything, he, he didn't do it with any fun. He didn't want to celebrate it or anything. He said, uh, he said that would come later. Later? Like uh, he was going to have to leave town? Yeah, maybe. Let me ask you this. This, this money that was coming, was it? In his possession, or was it coming later? Oh, no, he had it. He had it a, a couple of days before that time. A cop saw him in Port Charles. He said that he had it, and that it was safe and sound. Do you know where it was? No, I never asked him. Cindy, you're entitled to the money now. I don't know how to put this. Have you, have you, have you thought about, you know, looking through some of his belongings, his personal stuff. No, I... I haven't touched anything here. I, I couldn't do it. Of course, of course. I, I know it's, it's, it's a hard thing. I want to do it, but I couldn't. I know I'm going to have to sooner or later because uh, I'm not going to be able to live here if I don't. I see his face all over the place. Yeah. What you're going to have to do is you're going to have to get yourself a friend. I, I really don't think you should be alone. Friend? Yeah, you know, somebody that you trust, that, uh, you know, that you could lean on if you have to, you know, talk. Do you really have the time to do this? Oh, me? Well, I, I, I didn't mean me, but I would certainly be more than happy to help you. Of course I would. Okay. Uh, what are we looking for? We're looking for anything that's going to lead us to the money that I know he would have wanted you to have. Hi, Hi. Well, I'm Hi. 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 H
work with psychiatric or do some computer work. So, uh, can we talk? Or, or I can call you later. No, no, no. I guess I have to talk to the software people, but that can wait. Oh, okay. Um, I need a moral support. Well, you got it. What's wrong? I'm leaving Lana's in a minute, and uh, I have to go back to the hotel and this club, but I don't know. She's not been able to bring herself to go to the club since she knew it, but... That's understandable. So, you know, I think it may be too soon to talk to her about it, but I, I do want to let her know. Well, before she sells it to somebody else. Yeah, well, that would, that would be okay. That way you wouldn't be pressing for any quick decisions. So, yeah. Okay, yeah, because I don't want to push at all. All right. <laughs> I mean, this is, you know, this is such a big step for me. I, I, I haven't made a major decision in, in years. <laughs> I hadn't even touched my grandmother's money. I've sort of been running in place. So now you'll be stepping off the dime, so to speak. Yeah. Do you really think I should then? Yeah. Do it. Do it. Okay. All right. So do you see the manager of the club? Well, yeah. I, would you still be singing now? Uh-huh. Yeah, the whole well, thing. You'd hire someone to manage it for you. Let's see you cover. Okay. But yeah, yeah, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for it. Okay. Thank you. Right. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. See ya. Bye. 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 Because she knows her brother as well as I do. Look, he is going to contest Edward's will and Eddie. He's out to get you. God. You must be miserable. Well, yes, yeah, that and a lot of other things. Well, if there's one thing I learned early on, and that money can make people miserable. Well, I think I'm just learning right there. Now. Well, I'm not knocking money. It's just that if you get obsessed with it, it can ruin your life. Yes, well, I grew up in orphan. Money is very important to me. The rich have lots of money. That's what I wanted because that would give me a position in life. Well, now you have both. Well, the trick is, when is it enough? How much money? How much money does it take to be happy? Yeah. Well, I know one thing that'll make the family happy, at least you and Alan, anyway. And what's that? I'm not going to fight him for the money. He can have it. Are you serious? Yes, I am. Your mother is not going to like this. Yeah, well, that's okay. Mother doesn't have me say anything. Wait, wait, wait. Listen. You start playing around with Edward's money. He is liable to have lightning strike you. It's okay. I got enough to worry about reality. So when I see Alan, I'm going to tell him. You know, it wouldn't hurt my feelings at all if you just let him suffer for a few days. Really? Really. Boy, the quarter man jeans skipped over you, didn't they? Well, I don't know about that. They're probably floating around somewhere. I don't think so. But I feel a lot better. See you later. See you. I'm sorry, but Dr. Tom Hardy is with a patient right now. Would you cut a little message?